What is going on guys? I hope y'all are having an amazing day. The weather out here honestly isn't too bad right now. We just had a cold front move into Texas about two days ago. And by cold front, I mean it's 84 degrees outside. But for very end of summer, Texas, I'll take 84 degrees any day. We also just had some rain for the first time in a while yesterday and the day before. So I'm pretty blessed for that. That means the pigs are gonna start hitting the fields heavy, especially since all these farmers are plowing their fields right now. So I'm excited to push out some thermal content for you guys. Just make sure to stay tuned for that. We also have uh, archery season is starting up in Texas this weekend. So that's pretty exciting. I'm at one of the properties I just recently got access to, to bow hunt. So hopefully I can push out some content for that. And while I'm out here doing some last minute maintenance before deer season starts, I wanted to one, make sure that my thermals are sighted in and sight in, sight in some new thermals. And two, I just wanted to do some pistol training just because I haven't done enough of that. And I kind of wanted to talk about this whole thing about the pistols and carrying under 21, carrying on campus. So let's get right to that. So some of you may be looking at the thumbnail and the title of this video and either be wondering, A, am, is what I'm doing even legal? Or B, just worried about why I'm carrying to school in the first place. So first of all, yes, everything that I'm doing is 100% legal. I'm 20 years old and I have my license to carry through the state of Texas. And I go to Tarleton State University, which does allow concealed carry on campus. Um, so before, Texas allowed anybody 21 years of age and older to get their license to carry. Back in, I believe, March, April, or May of 2023, they decided to change the law to where anybody 18 years of age or older can get their license to carry. So I was a freshman in college, 19 years old, back whenever that passed. So immediately when it passed, I went and got my license to carry. I honestly think I was one of the very first people to do it because honestly, not too many people still know about this new law. So I don't know about other states, but in Texas, you can get your license to carry at 18, which is great news. I'm excited that we have that right. Now, I'm not going to spill too much more into the legal mumbo jumbo just because I'm not a lawyer. I don't know the, the laws in other states. But to my knowledge, if you go to any university, public university in the state of Texas, you have the legal right to carry a firearm as long as you follow the criteria of that university. Because Texas law and university law are going to be two completely different things. Like you can constitutional carry in Texas. You can um, open carry in Texas. At least at Tarleton State University, which is under the AM University system, so pretty much I think any college under the AM University system will have the same rules. You're not allowed to constitutional carry and you're not allowed to open carry. You need to have a license to carry and you need to conceal carry. If you live in a dorm, there's other rules like it needs to be locked up. But now that we have all that out of the way, now let's look at what I carry to school. One more legal side note, um, a lot of you may be thinking that it's illegal to own a handgun under 21, which is 100% false. The law is anybody under 21 can't purchase a handgun through an FFL, cannot. But I believe you still have to be at least 18 to own a handgun. You can obtain a handgun either through a private sale or having it gifted to you. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Make sure you do your own research because I'm not a lawyer. Now let's get back to what the video was intended for. All right, starting off strong, we'll get to the holster in a second. Here we have, well, first of all, it is an unloaded firearm YouTube. Even though whenever I'm not on YouTube, this thing is loaded 100% of the time, whether it's on me or at my nightstand, just because one, I completely trust Glock it, that it's not going to go off unless I pull the trigger. And I just think it's useless to have it unloaded. So anyway, here we have the... Glock 17 Gen 5 MOS. I have it paired up with a Holosun 407C. I went with the 407C just because the 507C is like $100 more back whenever I bought it two years ago um, for, I think, two extra reticles. And I just like a red dot anyways. So I didn't need the two extra reticles. And from everything that I read, Holosun is a very reliable company and I'm very big on reliability. Yet yeah, I own a Ford. I hate Ford. Um, hate any american truck if if i were to do it again i'd get a toyota some of you may hate me for that that's complete side note i'd i'd get a toyota any other day or every every single day if i sold this truck anyway back to this uh we also have it paired up with an olight pl pro valkyrie 
a lot of people have complained about Olight because they blow up. I think there was like one incident because some guy didn't do the right thing with it. I don't know what it was, but I've also had this thing for like two years and I've never had any problems with it. it runs fine. Um, if I were to do it again, I probably would get a Streamlight just for that extra reliability. But the Olight has been running flawless for me ever since I got it. Uh, Holosun. Back to the Holosun. Um, I bought this thing two years ago. Haven't changed out the battery on it. And I keep this thing running 24-7. I don't turn it off. It does have a shake-awake feature. So it does turn off after like five minutes. And then the second I uh, pick it up, it has a dot going on it. So now that we have this taken care of, let's go take a look at the holster. So moving on to the holster, we have the Works M6 holster. This, for the price point, I could not be any happier with it. I think it's about a $100 holster, and it fits my Glock 17. It'll also fit a Glock 19, I believe, as long as it has a PO Pro paired onto it, and it has worked amazingly. Also, I appendix carry. If anybody, if any of you buy an appendix carry holster, I highly recommend getting what's called, they call this a claw. I think other companies will call it different things. A lot of holster companies have their own variation of this claw that will push your, it tucks up to your belt, put the belt pushes it in, which in turn will push the butt of your gun more into your stomach, which will make it way easier to conceal carry. A lot of people will think that a Glock or any full size, a Glock 17 or any full size handgun is going to be harder to conceal, which I guess is true. But me being a slender guy, I can comfortably conceal carry this thing. And I want the most comfortable handgun to have if I need to use it at some point, just because these smaller handguns, they are a little bit snappy. And I also want the most round count possible for if anything ever goes goes south, which this carries 17 rounds. So the holster is amazing. It's completely comfortable for me being a more slender dude. If I'm wearing a belt and I'm going somewhere where I legally have the right to carry a handgun, I'm gonna be carrying this combo right here. I love this gun and this holster. If you watch any of my hunting videos, my thermal hunting videos, I usually have this Glock on my hip with a outlaw holster just as a dispatch piece um just because i love this gun so much but uh if i'm not carrying a belt on campus i'll get to that in a second i guess we can quickly see how well i do i haven't shot this gun in a while honestly just because i haven't been out anywhere to shoot lately but we have a steel target over there we'll just see if I can get on it. A little bit rusty, but it's kind of a small target. So anyway, let's get to the other gun that I like to carry. Another thing that I forgot to mention is what I shoot. So right now I'm training with PMC bronze, 115 grain, nine millimeter hollow, not hollow points, FMJs. Um, what I like to carry is the PMC bronze 115 grain hollow points. So this is basically the exact same cartridge, same bullet. Well, it's not the same bullet, it's a hollow point. It's almost the exact same thing, except it's the hollow point version. So they shoot very relatively the same from my experience. I do still like to train with the hollow points just because I do believe that you should train with what you're going to trust your life with, but they're both relatively well-priced but the FMJs are a little bit cheaper. So I'm practicing with these today. Now let's move over to this other gun. So here we have, I used to not be a big fan of the 380 just because I thought the, the 380 sucked and a nine millimeter was way better. But I realized that in the summer in Texas, it's really hot and I kind of just want the smallest gun possible that I completely forget about. And that is this gun right here. This is the Ruger 380 LCP Max. Same thing, this thing is unloaded. This thing is tiny, if you can see that. That can almost pretty, that's, that can fit in the palm of my hand. What I love about this gun is how small it is and how much ammo I can carry. This is a 10 round mag. And just this combo is great for if I don't feel like carrying. It comes with a pocket holster. So if I wanted to, I don't, I don't feel like putting in a real holster. I'll throw this in my pocket 
But what I usually like to do is I bought this holster. This is called the Thunderwear holster. There's also another version called the Smart Carry holster. Let me see if I can tilt this camera down just a little bit. There we go. Should be able to see that just fine. Okay, I actually have a pizza box on the other side of this camera just so I can block out the wind. But pretend I was just wearing underwear right now. I put this over my underwear and I can tuck my gun right there and I can put my pants over this. So even if I'm not wearing a shirt, the pant line is over top of the butt of the gun. So it's completely concealed and I completely forget I wear this thing two minutes into putting this on. It is insane how comfortable it is. If you wanna look into this, go find other videos. There's plenty of other videos that describe this way better, but I'm just saying that this is a phenomenal holster if you don't really feel like carrying and you carry a lot of light clothes. Whenever it's summertime or uh, spring and it's above 85 degrees, I'm wearing shorts or probably above 80 degrees. I'm wearing shorts and you can't really carry a Glock 17 with shorts on. So this is the way to go for me, especially like athletic shorts. Um, the ammo, I'm honestly not that impressed. This is the Hornady American Gunner. And what I don't like about it is they're hollow points. I've shot it a couple times. They're not too bad. But if you can see that, I dropped this mag at one point and pretty much all of the bullets seeded inside a little bit, which increased the pressure a lot. So it's honestly not very safe to shoot this right now. I contacted Hornady, told them about the problem, and they said they'd get it taken care of. So right now I'm not going to shoot this gun, but as of right now, I'm not a big fan of the Hornady's. I might actually find some PMC bronze in 380 and hope that does me well. So I'm going to wrap up the video now. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Those are the two guns I like to carry. Maybe I'll get another gun in the future. I'm really, I really like the Glock 43X just because it's way more slim. Might start carrying that if I buy one or the PSA Dagger Compact line, which is a Glock. 43x clone i've really been impressed with a lot of palmetto state armory's products lately especially the dagger i've i've had some personal experience with the dagger and i'm really impressed especially for the price point so anyway if you have any questions i know you might have a lot of questions because it is licensed to carry and just a lot of people are curious i will do my best to answer the questions but just don't forget i'm not a lawyer so don't take 100 percent of my word for it but if you have any questions Put them in the comments down below. I will try to get back to them as soon as possible. Make sure to follow me on Instagram. I have a lot of behind the scenes, especially hunting wise on my Instagram before I post it on YouTube. So check that out. Uh, that'll be down in the description below. Um, any business inquiries, I have my email linked down in the description below. And I guess that's it. I hope you all have an amazing day and I will see you all in the next one, which will probably be a thermal video. So stay tuned for that. I'll see y'all later.